Hi, I'm Ben. Hi, I'm Claire. And we are Hi Jinx. Jinx. So today we are doing something slightly experimental for ourselves in which we're going to make a couple of um, slightly odd martinis and we're going to do our first experiment. Martinis. In... Like martinis. We are James Bond. Food pairings. We are James Bond. The name's Phyla. Claire. The name's Thapper. Phyla. Ben Thapper. Mm, I think mine works better. Anyway, um, so we have in front of us, which you can't see, but you can look at our picture on our Instagram page. We've got a lovely cheese platter because we visited the wonderful um, Dennings Point Distillery in Beacon, New York recently. And we purchased some of their great nine gin and also their honey and herb made of the meadow vodka, which um, in our last tasting video, we talked about how beautifully they work together. And I sort of harped on a little bit about how I would like to try them with a cheese platter. So we've decided to do that today. But also in the interim, I had a wonderful brainwave in that a while ago, I had purchased this wonderful, I called it the most Claire Filer product ever to exist. I do think Truffle I introduced gin it to from you. Cambridge. You did, absolutely. I think yeah. I had, I, I absolutely like tried it in a pub and had a fat throw down. Exactly. It was literally like... And what you all need to know is that I am obsessed with truffle. I cook with truffle all the time. If anything on the menu has truffle in it, I'm going to order it. Claire's obsessed with strong flavours. So yes. truffle sort of mashed. So truffle in a gin. I really mean... strong French cheeses. She's all over. Yeah. Truffle, chilli. Yeah. Lot, so. so basically, I got this lovely gin and I had been looking for a way to serve it where the truffle can really shine mm. um, because serving it with tonic, tonic doesn't really work with truffle so much. Um, I had tried serving it in a martini with vermouth and it had been nice, but I thought, you know what, this is such a beautiful gin. I want to save it for the perfect serve. And I just have a feeling, I've not tried it yet, but I have a feeling it's going to work beautifully with the honey and herb vodka and the cheese plate. So we're about honey to do martinis to a We've jumped the gun. Let's talk about honey and herb vodka. Yeah, but we talked about it in our Great Nine video, so if anybody needs to catch up... So, basically, they don't just make gin, they make vodka. They don't just make vodka. Actually, this is an interesting thing. The um, time we spent in New York, they're obsessed with honey, aren't they? Yeah, they are, actually. Honey gins. You're obsessed with truffle. And I'm obsessed with truffle. Honey, Honestly, truffle Honestly, I could works. just sit here and go... Basically, you just put a load of expensive ingredients together and hope it works. <sighs> Um, but in this case, it really does. Honey and truffle is right, like... Right, so are we going to start with the honey and truffle? Because we've yeah. done the great night. We will do it again. But, yeah, well, um, yeah. So... Let's, let's do this. I'm just going to remove remove this. There we go. Oh, yeah. Remember when... So, our, um, our ratio, we're going to do two gins. Two gins. Oh, well done. Two gins, one vodka. You think? Okay. What? Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. I thought that's what we were doing. Were you thinking one gin, two vodkas? Well, try it like this. Try it like that. Okay. Do you want to stir... Yeah, okay. Do you want to stir a chilli in there as well? Or not? Not yet. Not yet, okay. So we'll try, try it without really first. So, talk amongst yourselves. I just think I got some chilies because I was like, what marries up with honey and truffle? And I thought, well, maybe a chilli. But maybe cheese, you know. So let's just, let's try a little dash of this first. And then yeah. we can just add ingredients to tweak. So let's taste the monster. Let's give you just a weebs. Definitely give me just a weebs. Oh my gosh, smell that truffle. It needs more honey. Yeah, not much though. Yeah, but it does need a little bit more honey. And Not just, much. Because bang a little bit more in there. You do it. Well, it just it doesn't I feel need like much. you're gonna over honey it. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. So I'm just gonna do that. Okay. Okay. Have a little shake. But that combination of flavours is absolutely yeah. stunning. So yeah. I, I just think... don't quite taste the honey enough yet. Oh I'm getting the honey. I think the first time I tried the truffle honey combination was at a restaurant back in Auckland where my wonderful friend Cameron worked called Prego. And um, they did a cheese platter where you could get blue cheese with honeycomb <coughs> and truffle oil. And I remember that's the first time I tried the combination. And now, whenever I have truffle or honey or blue cheese, you know, I, I want to put the three of them together. It's like the holy you trinity get of flavour. super excited. I do. Oh my God, smell that. 
Yeah, I'm happy now. Just oh my god, the sweetness just comes okay. through a bit more. Okay, this is what we're gonna drink. Yeah, and then we, I think we can separately add dashes of chili. Yeah, you've seen how Claire's trying to get me drunk here. No, it's just that you have about a foot more <coughs> of your body to process your alcohol. Both ways. So um, should we should we try this with a dash of chili? We're we gonna use fresh chili or we're we gonna use tucker? Where is tucker? Tucker is here. Tucks. You can talk about tucks. Let's talk about no, tux. no, no, no. We, we, we don't have time. Should we to try talk it with tux. this? I'm gonna just try this. Time to you. We don't have time to talk about tucks because um, basically for tucker, see what have we talked about tucker in Andul Aman, um, Sixling, um, 1919, I think. Yeah, lots of them. Uh, Basically, we've, we've, it's, we've it's not Carolina yet Reaper chili um, infused vodka. vodka. We've not yet found a gin that it doesn't improve. So. Oh my god, that is so good. You know what? Before I do anything to it, I just need to have a big hunk of blue cheese with this because this is the the, the one of the points of this video is that we nobody talks about gin and food pairings. So wine and food pairings is huge. Absolutely enormous, but. So we've, um, we, we're gonna start, you know, interspersing our pure gin tasting videos with some gin and food pairing videos. So here we have truffle honey martini with a bit of blue cheese. So we're gonna go, a bit of drink. We're gonna go. Okay, you stink, man. Mm, oh my God. So I'm so happy, Jesus. Oh, there's a bit of fighter frogging going on over here. Oh my God, that is a golden combination. You happy as Larry? What if you think that is the ultimate honey, Claire Fighter. Honey, truffle, blue cheese. It should be a dream, oh. shouldn't it? Well, uh, it is. It is the dream. Yeah. I think that is literally the, that's the epitome of flavor for me. Yeah. So good. Maybe we should stop the video here instead of carrying on. We have other lovely things to try, don't we? No, well, this is the thing because not everybody likes truffle. Some people think that it smells mm. like feet, that sort of thing. So, it's a very acquired taste, and you know, pigs <coughs> snorting truffles is like the most hilarious British concept in the whole world. But it, it feels like people sort of as people sort of like associate truffles with being quite a dirty thing, and so some people won't just eat it and it's just delicious yes what cheese have i got here that i'm also going to have with the drink tell them about it that's neuchatel uh -huh. so neuchatel is a swiss cheese it comes in the shape of a love heart it's a love heart and it's basically smellier than most cheeses you'll have it's like it's soft and an epoise um and about a third of the price um and it's lovely um and you really like it don't you it's got that sort of um, slightly, um, you know, you know when you leave Salty. a cheese, you leave a cheese out a bit too long and it goes a little bit drippy. Um, yeah. If that's your it's thing. It's a little melty round yeah, the edges. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A bit like it's got that. <sighs> it's got a lot of salt in it, which Claire loves. Yeah. Um, Claire loves her salty goodness. Um, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, While you talk, I'm gonna go give this a little rinse. But basically. It's just delicious, and I feel like people spend a lot of money on cheese, people spend a lot of money on gin, and they don't always sort of siphon out what's good. Um, this is really, really good. We've got some great, great stuff to go with it, some confit. Fig and citrus confit. Sorry, the budget didn't stretch to two cocktail shakers, but fair no, not. Sorry. I have another one. So. The other martini serve we're going to do is the Great Nine Gin from Dating Point Distillery with the um, Made of Meadow Honey Vodka, which is a, something that we've tried before, we know is beautiful, and I wanted to have with a cheese platter. So that is what we are about to hit ourselves with. And actually, they, they what, recommended this. Um, what ratio this, do you want? They recommended this, didn't they? Wasn't Two that, and then one and a half? That was their recommendation. Absolutely. Um, Karen was... Um, an absolute expert and because he said he was he, he literally found it by accident i think that's yeah. what he said and he got 
this combination of the um, Great Nine Gin. Great Nine because there's nine fantastic botanicals in it, which are the classic botanicals largely that you'd find in a good gin. I, I call them the Christmas botanicals, the sweet spices, and then things like coriander and then citrus on, on the nose. Um, so it's, a, it's an absolute gin classic. Combine that with a um, honey vodka. You'll make a great bar girl one day. You'll, you'll do great. I really believe in you. I don't think the alley writes quite as good as it is for singing. Actually, I should probably take that back. <laughs> You're happy? Right. Um, so let's just try a little splish splash before we um, decide what it needs. Your splish similar, splash. Similar ratio to the last one. Oh, that is so beautiful. So that is so much smoother. I mean, the truffle... Mm. The truffle is decadent and yeah, this one, this one I think allows more for the beauty of the products to speak. Mm. The truffle one is just filthy, but this one is like, mm. this one's like, I'm outside. I've got the mm. fields. I feel, like the, I feel like adding a truffle is a little <laughs> bit like getting your like dirty kebab on the way home, but like... You but did in a it, posh way. Yeah, you, you did it in Chelsea. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Like Chelsea going home food. I, I've, I've, I lived oh, yeah, like, like lamb fat fries. Yeah, and I, like live, I lived in Wandsworth for years, so I know all about like posh going home food. Ooh. I mean, it's booze, so I'll basically drink it, right? He'll be fine. Be fine tomorrow. Cheers, so just quickly, what, what I'm going to do with this one, because uh, uh, we've also got a lovely um, truffly brie here. So it's, ba um, it's basically a brie with a heart truffle of truffle in the middle. Yeah. Um, so what I'm going to do, because I'm so obsessed with truffle, is I'm going to have the truffle cheese with the martini that doesn't have truffle in it. So you do it, girl. See how this gets on. Okay. It was the most elegant chew ever. Like. Right. People would pay hundreds, hundreds of pennies for that. They should pay hundreds of pennies to have this flavour in their mouth. That is actually what she said. So that's nice. Oh, that's beautiful as well. Mm. That is beautiful. Should you I do that it? Residue. Yeah, get in there, get in there. I'm, just, I'm gonna crack open some of them. Mm -hmm. mm. Just keep talking, cause you know. I'm in beautiful. heaven. I've never seen Claire happier than when she's around truffles. She's like a pig, basically, because that's that's when I am a pig. Too. That's when they're happy to. I am an absolute shameless pig. So you know what else, you know what goes really well with truffles is duck. So maybe at some point we have to do this martini with mm. a duck dish. Mm. Mm. But TBC, I feel like what's going to happen is we're going to do these food pairing episodes, and we're just going to get more and more ideas, and we're just going to become unstoppable. I thought. What you're going to say is we're going to try these food pairing ideas, and we're just going to get more and more drunk. Well, no, because we're eating foods so and we're lining our stomachs. Right. So actually, we're being really responsible. Mm. You know, hashtag drink responsibly. Drink responsibly. Hashtag. Yeah, um, something like that. It's nice. Mm. Beautiful. You get a meaty but, yeah. quality with a combination of two. I just want to go, because this is what I talked about all the way back in Beacon, New York, which I missed terribly. I just wanted a hunk of blue cheese with this martini. You so. love a hunk. Mm-hmm. It's everything I knew it would be. Basically, what we've got here is some incredibly well-made products. We've got two from New York and one from Cambridge, which is where I grew up. And you, if you marry the flavours really well in amongst products that are incredibly well-made, made with such love, you're going to get something good. Yeah. You are. Just don't be afraid to experiment. Honey and truffle, great. Yeah, if you think something's going to work well together, Go ahead, try it. So I was, I was with my mate. I was chatting to my mate yesterday, and she was like, "I've got a bottle of um, uh, vanilla vodka and some um, vermouth." I was like, "Make a martini," and she's like, the "Spice queen." She had some turmeric around, did it, and it was amazing. Just be creative, people. Just yeah. do great things. Drink. No idea is a silly idea. If it doesn't work, then you know. Yeah, like, right. You this can is always... how you discover. 
You can always pour it down the sink because at the end of the day, you can feel bad about pouring it down the sink, but the amount of booze I've poured down the sink the morning after, I wouldn't even worry about it anyway. Like, just don't even worry, just enjoy it. It's enjoy delicious. It. It's about pairings of flavours. It's about in, it's about finding new creative things and it's about finding your thing that you like. Exactly. Right, so I have found what I like here. So this is I'm going to shut this I video like. off so that I can just focus on it and not have to be polite anymore. So. Bye! Cheers, everyone!